It's story time. Story, story, story time. Let's read a story time. Story, story, story time. I'm geek to story time. Story, story, story time. You and me is story time. Story, story, story time. Let's achieve. Hello, everyone, and welcome to story time with me, Kayla. How's everyone doing out there? I hope you're doing well and making sure to stay safe. Now today we have another special Arthur feature. We are going to take a look at a book from brand new Arthur D. Pryor. She has written a book about something that I'm sure we all have experienced at least one point in our life. So without further ado, the book we'll be reading tonight is called -da -da -da. Owen Makes a New Friend on the School Bus, written by D. Pryor. You ready to see what this book is all about? Ready, set, let's begin. Whoosh. Owen Makes a New Friend on the School Bus, written by D. Pryor. Here we go. <laughs> she dedicates this book to her children, grandparents, family, and friends. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, I am Owen. I have no desire to get up this morning. It is too early. I wish I could sleep for five more minutes. Today is a special day. Today is the first day I ride the school bus to my new school. I am not sure how it will be riding a school bus. I never rode a school bus before. I hope I make new friends. Hmm. I brush my teeth and put on my clothes. I grab my book bag and walk downstairs, and to my surprise, I see my dad making pancakes. Today is already beginning to be a good day. <laughs> that, you know, pancakes in the morning to fill up your belly, that is a good start to a good day. <laughs> After breakfast, dad and I walk to the bus stop. I see other kids, just like me, waiting for the bus. We are all lined up in a single file line and waiting for the bus to arrive. Hmm. Have you ever waited for the school bus to come and pick you up to go to school? Hmm. The yellow bus comes with its bright flashing red lights. My dad says, this means the bus is just about to stop and we need to be patient so everyone stays safe. Mm -hmm. Safety first, always. The doors open and I froze. The bus is so big. Then I hear a voice say, good morning, I am Mrs. Moore. It's okay, use the handrails to get on. Aw, if you have a bus driver, what is his or her name? I bore quickly and find a seat next to the window in the front of the bus. The seat is like a bench. It is tall, gray, and has extra room. The door closes after all the kids are on. I wave to my dad and he says, I will be here when you get back. Have a great day. <laughs> you know, I love choosing the window seat in any type of vehicle I am in. <laughs> we pass through the neighborhood heading into the town. I see trees, houses, and even an ice cream shop. <laughs> That's exactly why I like the window seat. You see everything, <laughs> any and everything. I can see everything from up here, even the top of cars as we pass by. Then there is a speed bump and up! We go into the air. It is so cool. <laughs> Have you ever went through a speed bump before? I do it all the time. Not slowly either. <laughs> the bus seems to roar like a lion and let out a sneeze-like sound. The bus stops. The door opens and more kids board the bus. Some are small like me and a few are older. The older kids head toward the back of the bus. Yeah, the older kids like the back of the bus. <laughs> Everyone seems to know each other, and we're laughing and having a good time. I am new to the school, and I do not know anyone, so I sit quietly to myself in my seat. Hmm. Has there ever been a time where you sat by yourself in your seat because you just didn't know anyone? Then I felt someone tap my shoulder. Can I sit with you? He asks. <laughs> yes, you can, I reply. Hi, I am Owen. I introduce myself. Hi, I am Alejandro. He introduces himself. Hmm? 
Alejandro, are you in the first grade? I asked. Yes, I am. I have Miss Smith, he replied. No way! I have Miss Smith too! We are in the same class and we ride the same bus? That is awesome! Do you think she would give us a lot of homework? I asked. I really hope not, he replied. And we both laughed. <laughs> you know, I hope Miss Smith doesn't give a lot of homework too. <laughs> Alejandro says his family had just moved to Texas from New Mexico, and he did not know anyone either. I just moved here too. My family and I moved from Missouri, and I did not know anyone also. Well, now we know each other. Yeah. You know, you never know how much you have in common with someone until you start up a conversation. Alejandro and I have many things in common. We both were playing on a baseball team last year. We both are great in math. And we both do not like pickles on our sandwiches. Ugh. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Maybe we can play after school one of these days. I can show you my baseball collection too, I said. I will ask my dad once I get home today. That will be fun, Alejandro says. Hmm? <laughs> the bus stops again this time around we are at a brick building with a flagpole we made it to school <laughs> the doors open and the principal greets us good morning as i get off the bus i say to myself i am sure glad i rode the school bus today i met a new friend i cannot wait to ride the bus again <laughs> The end. Yes, Kate Crew. Has there ever been a time where you were in a new place and you didn't know anyone and it was a little challenging and a little uncomfortable making new friends? You know, if Alejandro never would have asked Owen to sit next to him on the bus and if Owen would have said no, both boys never would have known how many things they have in common that led them to be friends. So my message to you out there is to never be afraid to meet new people because you never know who your new friend will be. I hope you enjoyed reading this book as much as I did. To find your copy, make sure to head on over to Amazon. This book is also available on barnesandnoble.com. Plus, be sure to follow Arthur D. Pryor on social media. I want to give a big thank you to Dee Pryor for sending this book. You all stay tuned out there because we are going to read her second book next month. Yeah, so exciting. All right. Are you ready to sing goodbye? Here we go. Goodbye, 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 my friends. Goodbye to you. I hope to see you again. We'll soon be proud of all your work tonight. Now climb into bed and sleep real tight. On the count of three, let's say goodnight. One, two, three, goodnight.